We want to do a 12-part series uh, where we are working through some of the fundamentals, some of the uh, essential elements of what might be called open-air preaching or street preaching, or maybe in old times it was called field preaching. Uh, it is the kind of ministry that is not seen much in our day in the 21st century, uh, but, but there's a, a lot in the Word of God about this, and there's a lot of thoughts and a lot of bad open-air preaching uh, that has gone on, uh, not only through the centuries, but even in recent times as well. And so what what we want to do is provide sort of a video series uh, that, that give 12 brief clips answering different questions regarding open-air preaching. And really, the, the first that I want to do is this. I want to an uh, answer the question, what is open-air preaching? What is open-air preaching? Well, I, I suppose we should just break it down. It is preaching Christ. In the public venue. That's what open-air preaching really is. That's what it biblically is. That's what it ought to be. That's what it must be. Uh, preaching. When we talk about preaching, here's what we mean. We mean a man who has the Word of God, and he is preaching. He is declaring. He is, the Greek word keruso, he is heralding, crying forth the messenger as the messenger, the message from God, who is the king. Uh, the man who stands and preaches doesn't craft or design or, or manipulate the message so that it will be more readily received. He is on mission from the sender, from the king, the Lord himself, to deliver God's message to the audience. He is to preach Christ. That is the proper object of the preaching. We are to preach Christ and Him crucified. We are to declare the gospel. We are to declare the saving message of salvation, that God has sent His Son, Jesus Christ, into the world to die for sinners, so that by His substitutionary death, His propitiatory sacrifice, bearing the full wrath of God for His own people, God satisfied His own justice by punishing the sins of his people upon his own son, the substitute of the cross. And he validated that work when he raised him from the dead on the third day. It is not only preaching, and it's not only preaching Christ, but it's doing it in the public venue, in the public venue, that is outdoors, that is in a field, on a corner, on a rock, at a large event, at a park, it could be in a boat. It could be anywhere and everywhere in the public sphere or the public context where where people gather, where people walk by, where people uh, sort of go through their day and where there's going to be foot traffic and where a man of God cries out with the gospel of free grace and he's going to declare the good news of salvation. That is what biblical open air preaching is. It's not merely a man who's making much of himself. It's not man who a man who is entertaining people. It's not a man who's trying to draw a crowd. It is a man who has one message, and that is the message of God from the Bible regarding Christ and the only way that sinners can escape everlasting hell by turning from their sin and trusting in Jesus Christ alone. That is what biblical open-air preaching is.